Okay, I'm gonna show you how I made this game in just about two days. Let's go back. I was looking for my next Airbnb and I scrolled past this. I mean, we're thinking the same thing. There's no way that a door fully opens like a 15 foot drop, right? But it gave me an idea. So I booked it, drove a couple miles, I had to plug my suitcase down a dirt road. And guess what? It's, it's real. I mean, it's incredibly stupid and dangerous, but it's perfect for an AR game. So I sat down and got to work. Here's the plan. We slap a cannon launcher at the doorway. In the field, we spawn a bunch of these wooden buckets to shoot the balls into. When you make it in the bucket, we launch fireworks. And at the back of the rice paddy field, we'll have a billboard that will just kind of keep score and have a timer for the game. Simple, right? I like to start with the 3D. I always like to give new AI tools a shot just to see if they'll speed up my workflow whatsoever. And today I gave Trippo a shot. So to start, I made a bucket in mid-journey. I mean, that's good enough. And I let AI do its thing. And after a bit of processing, it was done. Hold up, that's actually not bad. But after looking at it, it was in fact bad. I mean, look at the inside of the bucket. I'm not gonna deal with all this, especially with all the assets I need. So now with even less time, I opened up Maya. Yeah, no, I uh, I went to cgtrader.com and I bought the assets. But look, it's, it's not that simple. I still had to go into Maya, make them my own, get bashed all the pieces together, worked on the lighting to get them to kind of feel in the same universe and the same lighting structure. And bada bing, bada boom, here they are. Not bad, right? Okay, done with the 3D. Now let's take a look at the code and I'm gonna show you my ChatGPT workflow for this. To start, I jump into FigJam. I start getting the general flow figured out for each script put all the connections together. Then I take a couple of screenshots of this and I give a general description of what they want and just watch it as it does the code for me. I mean, honestly, it's, it, it is that easy. You still gotta give it, you know, some uh, guidance, but it usually figures it out pretty quick. So let's talk setup. This took me hours and hours to do, so I'm just gonna kind of fast forward through all that and just show you how each component works. So here we go. So the bucket has a trigger volume. Essentially, if the ball enters the trigger volume, it'll set up the UI events, it'll set up an event that tells it to track the score, and then it'll fire off the fireworks. The backboard has a damper on it, so when the ball hits that, it's going to stop its momentum and let it fall into the bucket. I also added this thing that I like to call the sucker. Essentially, the ball gets anywhere near the bucket, it'll suck it into the bucket. It just kind of makes things easier. The launcher was gonna be this cool slingshot, but the asset that I picked up, it just, I mean, just to get this right would have taken more than a day. So I, I scrapped it. But the new launcher works by having this cube that orients the way the shooting direction works. That cube has an XR grab tool on it. You can grab that with the headset on with a pinch gesture and you can move it wherever you want with your hand. Then the launcher kind of runs this calculation that if you aim upward, it will apply more force, and then if you aim down, it would apply less. Just essentially giving you this way to shoot really far distances and then also get the buckets that are close. The field's huge, so it kind of needed that. The billboard just tracks and shows the stats. So if you make a bucket, it'll ping with the next number of buckets made. And based on that bucket's difficulty, it'll add more points associated. And lastly, the tent, I mean, you could say this tracks player scores, but it's honestly there just a little cool. Bringing it all together, I grabbed a screenshot from Google Maps and totally did a super precise layout of how far away this is going to be. Set it up in the editor so I could kind of test the game end to end. After dialing all that in and the finally, honestly, working, uh, the last thing to do was to build it and run it on the headset. So yeah, will it ever see the light of day? No. Uh, will it ever be in the store? No. But you know, it was a fun, quick little R&D project.